Milliken Broadcasting Club. I'm your anchor, Peyton Walls Kane, and if you like Milliken Cordon, we are proud to say we're in partnership with them. We will be introducing news through videos, interviews, and skits. If you like Saturday Night Live, we're also not that. Now, what are we talking about today? No, seriously, what are we talking about today? Oh, yeah. I suppose it's time for us to start talking about Ugg season. Hey Siri, reminder to make everyone crocheted Santa hats for Christmas. Is it possible for us to already end the year off on such a fast note? I swear I was tan two weeks ago. So, what's Milliken doing at the end of the year? Let's just say, it's a lot. In regards to the holidays at Milliken, we had our traditional assembly with music, dance, and other performances from many students on campus that took place on the 20th. Everyone who performed worked very hard to choreograph and memorize for the audience's enjoyment. Clubs such as National Honor Society, CCC, Quest Ambassadors, and Milliken Sandwich Club have also hosted a variety of charity drives and member activities such as candy grams, socials, and cultural celebrations. As for our winter sports, their seasons have just begun. Basketball, cheer, dance, girls water polo, wrestling, soccer, and surf are all teaming up for the big wins in Moore League and CIF. More to come about their seasons later on. Get your Ram spirit in gear, guys. Here's hoping we beat, well, every team, really. Let's come out on top. Christmas is less than a week away. Many are still rushing to prepare for this holiday season. And that also means more holidays are having their appearance this month. This means I'm gonna get more presents, no? Guys, you're getting me presents, right? Uh, no. Guys! Hanukkah ended on the 15th and Kwanzaa begins on the 26th. Rolling Stone reports that the most popular gifts this year are Apple products, fragrance candles, diffusers, Stanley cups, which is crazy because I thought those belonged in hockey, facial products, and shoes from many top brands like Uggs and Adidas. I hope Mick Jagger's right about this because Rolling Stone is a great band. In other news, real and artificial Christmas trees have been sold everywhere across the nation. They are a symbol of the birth and resurrection of Jesus Christ in Christianity, or simply one of the main traditions of Christmas that millions set up every year. The American Christmas Tree Association, wow, that's a thing? Ugh, whatever claims that 77% of people who own one or more trees are purchasing fake ones. The New York Times claims that they do it to save money or the environment. However, some can argue that fake trees don't appear or smell true to their original product and will end up in landfills anyway. I wonder if you can recycle Christmas trees. You know, take apart the branches and make water bottles with them or something. Oh, better yet, you should re-gift them as presents for family or friends. That way, they'll have even more next year. History was made this holiday season. Brenda Lee's Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, released when she was just 13 years old, reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart over Mariah Carey's top hit 65 years after its re initial release. Somehow. Can you believe it? I mean, catching music like that at such a young age? All I Want for Christmas is You has had a total of 58 weeks at the number one spot on the Billboard chart since the Billboard debut in 2010. Now. We need to get a little serious. Time for probably the most controversial issue of Christmas. You know it, you love it, Christmas music. As far back as September, Christmas music has been blaring throughout corporate territory in the halls. Unfortunately, this time there were no boughs of holly. It seems that the purpose for this has been strangely debated throughout the years now. Is it just to annoy people? That's right, retail's worst nightmare. For some, it seems like it's doing its job. Is it to lift the Christmas spirit? According to the music software company Bloker, there are nearly 50,000 songs with the word Christmas in them. While this might be an issue for some, it can be a great experience for others, setting the mood for a perfect time to celebrate with friends and family in this work. Without Christmas music, some traditions may not even exist. Spending time around the radio was a common time around the turn of the century and that could have been passed down from generation to generation. A perfect way to spend time listening to things to lift the spirits, whether it be past, present, or future, just in time for the holiday season. Unfortunately, a lot of people seem to agree that it's an unfavorable practice or way to lighten people's moods. Cases in which people seem to find Christmas annoying seem to be, well, quite a few. BBC Newsround's survey of which festive song annoys you the most argues that Mariah Carey's number one hit, 
All I Want for Christmas is You, is the number one song that annoys people the most. Seems to make an incurable earworm inside everyone's brains every year. This is commonly the main scapegoat for hating Christmas music, it's, and it's easy to see why. It's catchy, it's repetitive, and it's got a great hook. What's not to love or hate? If you tune into this episode, maybe you'll tune into some other things during your time off, like football games and parades. Maybe you'll do something extravagant, like eating a hot Cheeto turkey or something like that. Make a Christmas tree out of used toothpicks from your kitchen. Actually, please don't do that, that's nasty. Go to a fancy restaurant, or go have an infinite number of Starbucks lattes. Not decaf. This has been Millican Broadcasting Club. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your year. We'll see you when we get back from break when we're not procrastinating. <laughs>